What's up everybody, it's Aparicio, and today I wanted to run everybody through the curve section in DaVinci Resolve for you. So you're gonna really wanna understand this to see what we can do to the image only in the curves. Let's get right into it. You see we're in our color page of DaVinci Resolve, right? So here's the curves in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, and we have this little line sort of thing going across the graph, kind of diagonally, right? The lowest corner here represents the blackest point of the image. The upper right represents the whitest point of the image. All right, as you can see here, make sure you have your uh, parade, your scopes open. So you drag down, you can see we're taking primarily the highlights down. It's all kind of coming down, but primarily we're affecting the highlights, the whitest points. So if you go down, you can drag it all the way down until it's completely black. And if you go to the left, you drag all the way up until it's pretty much completely white, right? Same thing with here. With the blackest point, we do the same thing. We take it all away. It's completely white. We add more of it and it's completely black. Cool. You got that. And then obviously the middle, you can affect the midtones. So whenever you're clicking points on this, you want to shift and then click. Uh, let's reset that. So let's click, let's do a point in the middle. We can drag this down to lower our midtones. And then we can affect the upper midtones as well and bring those back up. And then go to the lower midtones and drag those up and down. And if you only want to affect the luminance of your image, because right here, this is controlling the saturation and luminance. If you only want to control the luminance of your image, you're going to click unlink and we have just our luminance highlighted. And now we can just affect the luminance. And if we go all the way up here, you can still see some of the image there. Drag that down. We still see some of the image. That's actually pretty scary. <laughs> That's actually really scary. Oh my God. And there you go. You can get a really scary image like this. So now we're just kind of affecting the uh, brightness of our image. We can be really flexible with it. We can put points anywhere on the luminance range of our image and manipulate it with control points, as you can see here. So we just totally gave this a cool effect, as you can see. So to get a better understanding, we're going to move to the individual color channels. Let's go to clips. And we're going to go to this right here. And let me just show you what this does. Uh, go ahead and click on, make sure these are unganged and click on the red channel. And if you see here, it's kind of taking the red away from the highlights. And then if you drag this way, it's kind of introducing the red into the whole image. Okay, same thing will happen here. Take red out of the shadows turning it more into a teal color. That's just green and blue being added. And then we drag up, it's it being introduced into the shadows. So introduced into the highlights, introduced into the shadows, taken out of the shadows, taken out of the highlights. And when you take away these colors, it's gonna add um, opposing colors to it. If you look at a color wheel, we are gonna take green, the green out, Okay, and if we take that out, it's going to introduce the red violet. So let's go ahead and take green out of the shadows and you see it adds the violet. The green out of the highlights adds the violet. And then obviously we can add green to highlights, add green to shadows. If we go all the way up, it starts to bleed into the shadows and then the highlights. So let's go to the blue. So we go ahead and take the blue violet. Out of the highlights, you can see the yellow being introduced. Same thing with the shadows. Easy enough. Let's go back to our image. Let's go right here. If you go to low right here, you can clip the RGB values of the image, all of them. Double click to reset. But if you do the low soft, it doesn't clip them. It kind of maintains a nice roll off and it just kind of decreases them. Same thing with the high, clips them. If you do high soft, rolls gently down. Let's go ahead and just kind of affect the whole image here and give the image some contrast so we can start working on it. Not too much. I'm just going to brighten up the midtones by only using the luminance panel here. And now let's go to hue versus hue. 
All right, so Hugh versus Hugh, how do you read this? So the first one is essentially saying what you're selecting and what you're affecting based on your selection. So we are selecting a certain hue and we are affecting the hue of that selection, all right? This hue right here, it's obviously gonna be green. You can see this pop up here. Uh, let's go ahead and click here now on the skin. And if you go to input hue, pay attention to this control point, drags it back and forth, hue rotate up and down, right? And then you can select different points and affect them precisely, which I think this is how you should do it. You can affect this one and it'll come up into the other side if you see, boom. Let's reset that. So let's go to hue versus sat. Uh, we are targeting a specific hue and we are affecting the saturation of that specific hue. Grab the same spot and let's bring the saturation down. And I'm going to select this point here and I'm going to move it a little bit more to the right and select this point, move it a little bit more to the left so we have a uh, more range of skin tone in here. Let's select the, the middle point again, bring it down. There we go. And now let's go to hue versus luminance. We will now be controlling the brightness of a certain hue we select. So, oh my God, this green here. So select the point and drag it down. Maybe the grass is distracting, the green is distracting, so you can kind of tone it down a little bit. And let's go to hue versus hue. Okay, let's select our grass, and let's make this green really pop. And I'm gonna go to sat, the sat versus sat curves and take the saturation down from the entire image by dragging these two points down, just so it's not so in your face. And I'm gonna to go to hue versus sat, and I'm gonna drag the saturation of our skin down a little more. <laughs> and let's go to before and after with working in our curves. And you can see we've created a pretty appealing image. That is pretty much a solid foundation of what you need to know about the custom curves, which you're probably gonna be using a lot if you wanna really nail down the look that you're going for. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe for weekly DaVinci Resolve videos. Uh, leave your comments and I'll see you in the next one.